Hi, my name is Bob D'Amico from Hioki USA. I'm here today to talk about our new power quality analyzer, our PQ3100. First, I want to give you a quick physical layout of what the box is all about. Over on the left side, I have an, an AC input. At the top of my device, I have my voltage inputs, which are banana jacks, and then I also have my current clamp inputs. Now, this is the first device in the Hioki product line that actually powers the current clamp from the unit, so no external power source is needed. Over on this side of the screen, I have my SD card slot, I have a USB port, I have an Ethernet, cable, an Ethernet port and an RS-232 port, and finally some external trigger and uh, event uh, connections. Now I want to talk about a, a feature that, that's showing up on, on, on a lot of our equipment, um, and more importantly on the PQ3100, which is our quick set. What this allows you to do, it allow, it'll take you through a bunch of different screens from wiring to recording to event capture and so on. So let's go into that in a little more detail. First screen that shows up on my quick set menu is my wiring screen. Depending on which wiring configuration you have, which can be single phase two wire all the way up to three phase four wire, it will show you where to put your voltage leads and also where to hook up your current clamps. This diagram is giving you a picture of the top of the unit again to show you where all these, all these items are located. Once you do that, the unit will now ask you if you want to do a zero adjust, which is always a good practice. I'm going to cancel that just for now. Next screen is my, my voltage wiring. And what it does here is it actually shows you your, 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 your alligator clip hookups it will give you a vector screen that shows where your voltages are and it will actually give you a digital readout of your voltages. In addition to that, it will also let you know if you've got everything hooked up, if all your phases are correctly hooked up. Same applies to our current wiring. It shows you where to put your, your current clamps. Also, direction is very important and on the clamp itself, it will have an arrow that will let you know that this is where you must point that towards the load. Once you've got that hooked up, you'll see your vector diagrams in the vector screen up top, a digital readout of all your current readings, and also it will allow you to choose the current range that you're measuring. This unit will actually give you, actually gives you the ability to measure up to 6,000 amps, but you can go as low as maybe 40, 50 amps with the same, with the same uh, clamp. Okay, once everything is hooked up on the voltage and current side, you're going to get a summary screen that lets you know if everything's hooked up properly. Green indicates that everything's okay. Red will indicate that something's not right. Go back and check your wiring, make sure everything's okay. Now I've got a summary here also, my voltage and my current vectors on the same screen, as well as my digital readouts of my most important parameters. Now I'm on somewhat of a summary screen here that's going to tell you, based on the quick set, the out-of-the-box threshold levels that are set for voltage transients, for voltage swells, dips, interruptions, frequency, and THD and also inrush current, which you can turn on manually later on. Uh, the next screen is our, um, our, our trending screen, which gives you the ability to choose the, the interval at which you want to record data, send it over to your memory card. During that process, what ends up happening is that all the data, including voltage, current, power, power factor, harmonics, you name it, any, any electrical parameter you could possibly think of, is all going to be stored on your memory card for, for future data analysis. And the last step in QuickSet is actually a summary of our voltage event threshold levels and also our trending or our recording screen.